Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hola que tal, I am Steph and this is my YouTube channel. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and following me on my socials. I'd love to grow our little family here. I so, so love the little community we're building, so if you want to be a part of it, click subscribe down below. Talking fashion trends, specifically winter 2021 fashion trends. There's so many things that I... I gotta turn my phone on like <laughs> mute. And we're gonna talk about if I like them, if I don't like them, I'm gonna be brutally honest about these trends. And the great thing about this is that I have a completely different mindset when it comes to trends nowadays because I really do wanna be more conscious as I'm purchasing items in my closet. So I don't buy into trends that are not in line with my personal style or that I can't foresee um, having a real home inside my closet. That doesn't mean that I don't participate in trends. I definitely do. I mean, look at the cowboy boots that you guys can see behind me. There's specific trends that I don't love on me, but I really love on other people. So that's kind of what we're here to discuss today. Before we get into the rest of the video, I really wanted to thank today's sponsors. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make more videos and more content for you guys here. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys know that I preach sustainability on this channel as you guys just heard with my little sermon before. I really am the type of person that is trying to consciously choose every piece that I purchase. And Anna Luisa is also a brand that thinks about making their items more sustainably. You guys are in the holiday spirit and on the hunt for the perfect Christmas gift for somebody in your life. I think Anna Luisa could be a great solution to finding a perfect gift for somebody. When I think about gift giving, especially this year, I'm thinking about being conscious of giving something to somebody that they're really gonna use, that's really gonna last. And when I tell you that I've been wearing Ana Luisa's jewelry ever since I got sent them, you guys can see they literally have not left my ears. And I've worn them in the shower and things like that and they have not gotten tarnished, which is so great because durability in jewelry is something that I really, really look for. And it's something that I look for when I'm gifting jewelry to people as well. And Ana Luisa has a really great mix of timeless pieces as well as more trendier items that would be great to gift someone this season. running their biggest sale this year for Black Friday. I will have my links down below so you guys can shop the biggest sale of the season. And I also wanted to show you guys some of my favorites, some of the hand-picked gems that I have really found on Ana Luisa that I would love for someone to give to me. So I'm gonna like share with you guys some of my favorite items so that you guys can take a look and get a little sneak peek of what you can find on Ana Luisa's site. Make sure you go to the link in my description box if you guys wanna check out the sale. I think that you guys are gonna really love the items and find some lovely pieces. And thank you again so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Good soup. Really, really, I'm so excited to talk about this. I love like watching trends, analyzing them, chatting about them. Even though I might not participate in every single trend or purchase or buy into every single trend, I really love just talking about them and sharing my opinion. That people have fallen into is just like making their cl entire closet revolve around trends I'm getting away from, which I'm so happy to be doing so now. Like I actually have an opinion on trends now. Like before I was like, well, if it's trendy, it must be good. But now I have an opinion and I can stand strong in it. And I think that that's kind of, the goal, right? Okay, the one trend that I wanna talk about that is like ingrained in my brain, I know it's not for everybody, but I really freaking love it, is the balaclava. I think they're so fucking cool. An it girl kind of vibe whenever I see somebody in a balaclava. I particularly won't be purchasing one because I don't live in a climate that 
allows for that kind of outerwear. But if I lived in a colder climate, you would definitely see me rocking a balaclava. I actually found a really cool one on Depop that I wish I could have snagged up. But like, honestly, it's meant for somebody else's closet, somebody who's gonna get a lot of use out of it. I've been seeing balaclavas everywhere on some of my favorite influencers, as well as on Paloma Wool's website. I really love Paloma Wool as well. I don't know, like when I think about it, I think about like being incognito and like being kind of more covered this past like few years we've literally been wearing a mask on our face and like being pretty much unrecognizable every time we go out on the street because in general who's really gonna recognize you when you have a mask on and I feel like a balaclava is kind of like an extension of that it's like this idea of just wanting to like cover yourself a little bit more see i really love the fact that like i can just walk outside put my face mask on and like nobody's gonna know who i am or like i love the anonymity of it and like i feel like wearing a balaclava is kind of like this continuation of that kind of anonymity because it's like okay what else really identifies me as me let me cover it like it's just i think it's kind of cool and like very much like a statement as well of course people are gonna see like who's this person in this balaclava but also like it's a great way to like extend that idea of like just going out in the street and like not caring if anybody looks at you because really nobody's gonna see you or know you or know who you are I really think the balaclava is really freaking cool and I would wear it if it was cold enough here to do so okay so another trend I wanted to talk about are quilted coats quilted vests All of them at the Mew Mew show they were definitely in my color palette definitely my vibe I actually have a quilted coat here that you guys might be able to see that is this like pretty blue color as you guys know I probably would already love this trend I think it's so freaking cute and I think it's also something super super thriftable like I thrifted that coat that I have behind me as well so I think that it's something that you can find like in a thrift store on Depop off of eBay. eBay's been my new newest obsession. A lot of people might think that like a quilted coat is like just necessary bulk to an outfit and I could agree with that. But I think that like people are just dying to like live out their lives and just this idea of maximalism has been such a huge thing ever since gotten out of a little bit of a lockdown and now we're like out and about on the streets. I think people are like dying to share what makes them them and dying to like express themselves so having like a big like puffy quilted coat in like a really cute unique color is definitely a way to stand out and show your individual it's not so much about like your body shape or what you look like it's about like okay how can i rock this how can i style this how can i add another layer another touch another thing girls on tiktok add like 10 layers to an outfit like i wish i could do that because it's so hot here there's no effing way that that would ever happen but like i just think it's so cool to see how people miss mosh and like create this whole other identity for themselves after layering item after item after item i think it's just really cool um it reminds me of like when joey from friends like wore all of chandler's clothes <laughs> i feel like that's the direction that we're heading in and i'm not mad about it Okay, next trend that we're gonna talk about they call geometry class, which essentially is just like prints on prints on prints. This is not a surprising trend to see based on like what we saw throughout the summer with like the avant basic trend. Print, printed items mixed and matched and clashing with one another. I think that when you think about winter time, you always tend to think like black and neutral vibes and like, you know, the classic red or jewel tones, which I always love, but like the idea of staying bundled up, but like doing it with prints, I think is a really great twist. And it really goes with my style because I really, really love items with print on them. I love anything that kind of off kilter. I mean, I think it's because I get so much of my fashion inspiration from the Nan Fine, and she wore a lot of like 90s Moschino in that time, and Moschino, old retro Moschino, was definitely known for like their prints, and I feel like nobody did it like Moschino in that time, and like I could 
totally see myself rocking those pieces during the winter. The practical purpose of keeping you warm, why not add a twist to it and make it a little bit more fun? I actually really love that idea for a trend. I think it's so cool. Okay, next trend they call legging up, which essentially is just wearing leggings. I don't know how practical that is for winter. I guess your winter has to be like not so cold. I mean, a California winter is definitely doable with leggings. This resurgence of like the 2010s, now we're looking at Ugg boots, we're looking at leggings, we're looking at those things that we used to wear, like skirts over pants, like those kinds of things that were trendy in that time era. Leggings is something that I don't really get behind as far as like a trend or fashion statement. I feel like there's definitely a purpose for leggings inside someone's wardrobe. People who rock leggings in a way that like I just don't at leggings as more than anything active wear or comfy wear to wear around the house. I never really see myself wearing that out. So much of like how I dressed like in college and that just like traumatizing, traumatizing. Tra for a dresser, like whenever I go anywhere. So like leggings for me, I think in general are a little bit too like laid back for my personal style. So I think that's gonna be a definite no for me. The next trend is blue jean baby. Head to toe denim. This was more of like a fall trend, but denim, is absolutely timeless. I don't care who you are, like anybody and everybody owns denim. And I think that there's something so incredibly chic about wearing head to toe denim. I think it is such a fucking cool look. I know that like Britney and Justin did it and it was like supposed to be a tacky, like kind of campy moment, but like head to toe denim, when the denim fits you right, regardless of like whatever fit you like, skinny jeans, straight leg, like whatever it is that you are into, head to toe denim is such an amazing way to kind of play with like what you already own because everybody already owns like a denim, a pair of denim jeans, a denim jacket and like I think when you find something that are either in like super contrasting like washes or also just like the same type of wash I think is so cool. Denim accessories to me are also super chic. And finding unique denim pieces is some of my favorite things to do when I'm at the thrift store. Like finding any unique piece of denim is like a gem for me, literally. I freaking love finding stuff like that. So like, I think a head to toe denim look is chic on anyone and everyone. Let's talk a trend I've been seeing like on a lot of celebs and just like fucking loving is opera gloves. Love, like somebody wearing something like strapless with like a long dramatic like opera glove I've been seeing them like in a bunch of different materials um, Olivia Rodrigo wore them like in latex uh, Ariana Grande wore them like in a more satin material I think that they're so beautiful having like gloves in like a jewel tone would be so pretty for like a holiday party I think that they would be so chic and so cute. People wear gloves to like keep themselves warm and everything like that, which is great during the winter time, but I feel like it's such a stylistic choice to wear it for like a party or some sort of event. I think it's really cute. And like branching off that idea, I've been seeing a lot of like these like kind of shrugs, particularly a glove per se, but a lot of like knitted kind of like cable knit or crochet type of sleeves that people have been wearing up. I've also seen them a lot in lace as well. And I think it's a great like DIYable type of thing that you could do to like wear. I think they're a great layering piece. They're kind of a little punk, a little kind of like rock and roll. I think that they're really kind of cute. And like the crochet ones as well is something that you could totally make yourself. Again, another thing that we're seeing is like, Things that like people got really fucking good at during quarantine. A lot of girls were crocheting. I like the amount of crocheting videos that I watched during quarantine and like was like, I really want to learn how to crochet and then like never did. I mean, come on now. Like I, I like am regretting not learning how to crochet because I think like being able to make yourself like a matching pair of like arm sleeves and then like a little hat, like crocheted hat would be so cute. And I think it's a layering item that I could definitely get away with in like the climate that I'm in. So I freaking love that look. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you got inspired, saw some trends that you liked, saw some trends that you think you were not gonna participate in, whatever you got from this video. I hope you loved some of my opinions, or if you disagreed, disagree in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys about some of these trends. And make sure before you click off this video to check out the link that I have in the description box so you guys can check out the biggest sale of the season on Ana Luisa. I think you guys are gonna really love the items that you can find there. We can be twins and we can match. And again, thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Um, and yeah, that's everything for this video. Comment down below any video suggestions that you wanna see from me. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it for this video. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao.